What's up, YouTube? This is Dave Lucas with Injection Molding Skills and More. Today, we're actually going to go over a two shot process on how to do a two shot, how it injects the substrate, then it does the or rotate, or you can have a robot place the part and uh, over mold over top of that. Um, sorry, I've been out. I had vacation all last week and I spent the time with my grandbabies last week, so it was a great week to be off. Didn't think about no work whatsoever. Um, just spent time with my grandbabies and stuff. So I'm going to show you guys some videos inside of this video that will kind of demonstrate how a table rotates on the injection molding side and how that works. Um, you know, you have all your cores and everything else that are inside there that are actually in inside there. There's a spindle that runs. So what happens is the mold will rotate one way this way, then it'll rotate back the other way. There's switches on there that tell it when it's made. Um, so it'll eject only on one side, actually. So the side that has the finished good, the robot will go in and grab that side only sometimes. Or you might have a part to where it goes in and grabs the substrate at the bottom of the part, goes up to the top, loads it into the top, then it'll eject only at the top, the good part. So the robot might go in and grab both parts together at the same time, then move it up to the next thing. So I'll show you a variation and then I'll show you what the, the uh, injection units all look like together. And then I'm going to show you guys on the board and then I'm going to show you some parts what actually, what a two shot part looks like, okay? So stay tuned. Okay, I'm going to show you guys this turntable style. So on one side it does the substrate, on the other side it does the rubber. Okay. Okay, so on this little animation thing I'll show you. So it rotates. This side's filled with the rubber. The other side's got the substrate in there. So it rotates around, shoots. Okay, I wanted to show you guys, these are two shot barrels for two shot applications, okay? <clears throat> you might have some that might be a three shot application. Okay, so what would do is you'd inject your, you know, your skeleton or your substrate material first, then your rubber or TPE or whatever. These are different variations of what the screw might be. So you might have a screw on this side coming in, a barrel, I mean, a, a sled coming in from this side or a sled coming in from this side. So. This one you might have, this is the most common that I've seen out there. You'll shoot your hard material, your substrate first here, then you shoot your rubber on the top. So, and then a lot of these will have a turntable, like you've seen in the previous videos, okay? So, I just wanted to show you guys the different ones. So, like, you might have three different components. Like, if you're running, like, a hammer handle, or you're running, like, uh, drills or anything like that, like DeWalt drills and stuff, you might mold the skeleton, then you might shoot one type of rubber, then you might shoot another type of rubber, you know, a different color, okay? So I'll show you a little bit more. So this is that handle I was talking about. So this part right here would be a substrate part. This gray area is like a TPE or a rubber material. So this would be like a hammer handle or a drill handle or whatever. Okay, here's another example of a turntable. So it turns, ejects on the bottom. The substrates are on the top still. So it'll open up, rotate around. It's got the rubber on it. Eject off. Okay, so this is a video I got for you. This is our first two-shot machine that we got here at Handsome Plastics. Uh, this job came from Italy originally. It's part of a smoke detector also. It is a part where we mold this black ABS as our first shot. Our mold will rotate, and then we will mold this white TPE gasket on there as a sealer. This job happens to be the first two-shot job we got. Since then, we've expanded into our two-shot industry. 
But the, the neat thing about these parts are, is that we can mold both at the exact same time during the same cycle. The advantage to that versus over molding is, this ABS substrate part never gets touched, never gets handled before the gas gets put on. On top of that, then we have robotics that are going in with a camera to check to make sure that this gasket is complete and that there are no shorts in it. Tells it whether it's good or not. Once it knows that it's good, it'll then put the parts down here and separate them for the operator to package. Okay, what you'll notice on this side of the machine here is this is our second injection unit, which is actually injecting the TPE gasket material. When you see the mold open up, you'll see it actually rotate around. That's bringing a fresh substrate to this side, and then this injection unit is going to put this white TPE material on this ABS substrate. Then the mold will open, rotate, and then the robot will take out the finished part. All right, you'll notice... So this would be your big injection unit that I was talking about where it moves in. You got your top unit, bottom unit, substrate would come from here. Rubber would come from the top unit. This is your most common. This here is one more example. I don't know if you guys can really see it, but the robot will go in, grabs the parts, turntable turns. So the substrate's on the top now. close up this is the most conventional way of doing it some people use a robot where they'll have the robot grab the part from the bottom grab the part from the top at the same time then it'll move up load the part in there then shoot it that way you don't have to have a turntable so this is one way this is the most common that everybody does all right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed those videos inside this video. I hope they're informable. Informable. Okay, but here is a, a part that is actually made. It's a screwdriver. So this is a two-shot inserted mold. So they insert the, the metal piece into the tool. They shoot the substrate, which is actually the red part, which would be like a hard ABS material or a polypropylene real hard kind of material. Then they'll shoot the rubber over top of that, which is your two shot, okay? So any of your tools that you see in the market, like the Walt tools, your drills, stuff like that are all two shot stuff, okay? So I hope this helps you guys out on understanding two shot. I'll get into more detail of like um, DOE's um, low mold uh, pressure process. Um, there's a bunch of different ones. If you guys have any comments, just put them down below. Let me know what you guys would like to see. Um, I'm trying the best to make the videos informative as possible to where you guys will have all the information that you need. Sometimes I might not have everything and not know everything because that's part of molding. You're always constantly learning and molding. So I hope you guys like, share, and subscribe. Till next time, peace.